He is not alone. He's not the last. I understand his excitement and his wish to immediately meet the others, to free them and wake them up. But he has agreed to wait a bit longer. First, he's going to try and help us. If we make it to the conference, the Dark One will be able to open up the thoughts of Moskvin, or Corbut himself. Perhaps make them stop this madness. This is our last chance. Well, we'll see how it goes. All right, everybody, we're back at it again. Let's see. Uh... Artyom, we already knew of Oktobriska from Khan, and we did confront Moskvin on this, yet he didn't even try to disprove Open it. Gate. He told them by sheer yes, luck their chemical defense squad was exercising nearby, and thus, despite some sacrifice, they were able to move this starting epidemic in its blood. Otherwise, it would have engulfed the whole of me. What can you say to that? Even I would have done the Subject same. But come on, it was Lasnitsky, the, the yes, agent sir. who stole a virus container from D6 right before the outbreak. So what? There is not a single living witness besides Arthur. Who'd believe the order? We have the D6 now. What if it was us who released the virus? But the Reds tried to break through into Hans's territory. We could make Moskvin. What can we do? We are not an army. We've less than a hundred fighters. Yes, sir. yes, Moskvin did gear up for war. But after Polis suggested that we share the wealth inside D6, he might actually agree to oh, peace. Me. We must do everything to have that agreement signed. Moskvin, what difference does he make? He's just a puppet in Corbett's hands. And while he's talking, Corbett's forces are encircling you. You'll seal this peace agreement with your blood! Oh, what? You got a better there. idea? You brought this ape here! Open what airlock. now? Yes, We're sir. done with this. Let's go to the council hall. Follow me! Alright, boys. We're gonna fucking try to convince Permission them. Permission to report, Colonel. Denied. Urgent dispatch to D6 Security Force Commander. Go to highest alert. Instruct Korneyev to proceed with... Well, he knows what to do. God, please let this work out. Fucking red line? Nazis? Who are these guys? Just regular? These are the guardians of the metro. Spartans. Get ready, Arthur. Stay close to the little one. Hurrah, comrades! Let there be peace in the name of our children! You are a liar! Come, are you out of your mind? I know what I'm doing. Just believe in me. Just this one time. Who are you? Guards! Take this man away. Ranger, stand down! Artyom, little one, it's your turn. Huh. What's gonna happen? Where the hell am I? Uh... Hello? Comrade Moscovit, you must support me on this. Or else, some inconvenient details might surface concerning your brother's death. What happened with his brother's death? I overheard. One conversation between your brother and his advisor about the threat you pose and ways to eliminate it. What's the hell? Threat? We're brothers. He thinks you feel bypassed, cheated, 
He fears you will overthrow him. <laughs> He's totally mad. Totally. I'm going to give him an earful. Words alone will not avert his assassination plans. No, you must strike first. Oh shit, he was behind us the whole fucking time. Maxim, brother, I'm so pleased that we finally made up. It was a fight over nothing. Let's have a drink. Sure, brother. It was your fault. Who wanted me dead? Corbett sold you out. And now, he's got me by the balls. All because of you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, brother. There's no forgiveness for me. But even so... Holy shit. What... What was I... I... Out loud? I see. So you gave me something. Just like I gave something to brother. Yes. Yes. I did. I poisoned him. But Corbett. I'm a fool. I thought he wanted to save me. And he just took the power. Took me by the throat. And... He's storming the D6 now! And there's that virus! And if that falls into Corbett's hands, the end! You but you are the leader! Order him! him. Call the troops back! You stole them at me! Buy some time to make a deal! That kind there's of... nothing more we can do here! Hurry! Man. Faster! To the platform! Damn them! I'm not surrendering D6! Follow me! Right. Gotta get on this train! Goodbye, Anna. I will miss you so. It will be bad for everyone if you lose? Then I have to save them. My family. You're good, Artyom. He is gone. He did what he could, and now he is gone to meet his kin. I can't judge him for that. The remainders of humanity are finishing each other off in their final fight. It is not his war. I hope he was able to forgive us. Me. For what we did to his brothers and sisters. His mother and father. Well, we're back where we started. We went from D6 all the way around. 
Back to D6. I was wearing a helmet earlier, like, what the hell? Moskvin wasn't bullshitting this time. The Red Line's advancing on three sides. My brother's in arms. I am not a man for speeches, but here it is. You are the most dedicated, most courageous soldiers in the Metro. Each of you is worth five Reds. If you simply do the job you were trained to do, we'll win this battle. Sparta! To battle! Demo squad, that's enough! Get back here! Check your gear! Shoes time, zippers up! Get ready, people! Ow, 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 ow. What is 
that light. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be shooting at. I'm supposed to shoot at the fucking driver or what? Oh yeah, baby. Oh, 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 oh,
fuck! Matter grenades, oh no! for demolition. I gave the order back in Polis. Now that we have lost D6, our only option is to destroy it. Count us in, sir. What the hell? Nobody lives forever. What the hell is this? Shit, not again! Ah! Oh, oh, shit! Ah! Unforgivable waste of men and resources. So many good soldiers lost. And for what? Police station? The council? Ah, well. All are cleansed by the fires of revolution. What a pleasant surprise, Colonel Miller. Or oh, what remains of you? Artyom, it is time. <sighs> Then who might this be? Ah, the resourceful young man. Tell me, Arthur, savior of the Metro. Where are you going? Our 
empty home. No need for that now. Uman died, like most of the Spartans. Miller survived and is now in charge of police guards, even though he's confined to a wheelchair. And Khan just disappeared. He once told me, what if this little dark one is the last of the angels sent to save us? The fact that the little one came back and brought his kin, maybe that was the pardon and salvation for me, for the Order, for all of us in the Metro. The last light of hope in this kingdom of darkness. It will be better for everyone if we go away, Ordeal. But one day we'll come back. I'll be big then. Goodbye, my friend. The Dark Ones are gone. But I know we will meet again. Maybe... They really were sent to save us. Maybe... We did earn forgiveness. Fuck you! Yeah, stop him! <laughs> Don't be afraid. There is nothing to be afraid of now. defeated our enemies and saved the Metro. Was my papa brave? The bravest of us all, because he was never afraid to embrace the things he didn't understand. And where did the Dark Ones go, Mama? Away, to a safe place. But they promised to come back. Thank everybody for watching. I had a really fun time with this. I can't wait till Metro Exodus comes out. Oh yeah. Alright. So um I did the good ending and the bad ending. The good ending is stupid hard to do. Like no matter how much you do, if you if you slip up like once, it's fucking awful. Like you, you just become bad ending instantly. So like um I think what right really threw me over the edge was that one part where uh um what is it i had that lap dance i think that's what threw me over the edge it's like oh you did something really bad and also i did that hookah right there so it's 
I think that's the reason why I got the bad ending. But uh, yeah, um, you know, I tried my best to do the good ending, but it just it just still wasn't enough. Like you literally have to be a fucking good Christian little boy. You gotta you gotta not have sex. You gotta not fucking not drink. You gotta not do drugs. Yeah. So I'm gonna probably talk out throughout the credits here. I have no idea how long this is actually gonna be. Um, yeah, had a lot of fun. I don't know what I'm gonna do next. Um, if I'm honest, I'm probably gonna. I don't know. I thought about doing Bioshock, but I'm just. I don't know. I don't know. It's it depends on what's on the next list of things to do. Uh, I thought about going back to like Halo 3 ODST and finishing up uh, the Rookie series, but I don't know. It's just. Mm, mm. How long is this thing gonna last? The music stopped. Um, I think I'm actually gonna buy the book or the. Uh, not the actual book, but the audio book, because it sounded pretty cool. I heard like a preview of it, and the guy that actually reads it is pretty good. He almost sounds like Artyom too. I wonder if that's the the main guy that did the voice actor. It sounds like him, and it's pretty crazy because Artyom almost never talks, at least in game. Like he always talks in the cuts or the loading screens. I don't know why that is. I oh, mean, I'm okay with that. It's, it's not a big issue. <clears throat> Designer and owner, designer Noah Carbol, da Daniel Hute maker, Hute maker. Recorded PBC PCB production, Los Angeles, California. I guess and that's all the voice water. Deep Silver, I believe, is the guys that created the game or published. I think it was created. I don't know, something around those lines. Uh. Jeremy. Man. The People's Republic of Animation. Uh, project managers, lead animator. It's a lot of freaking people. Original Force 3D production or producer. Medium animators. Winking! I thought it said winking, like. <laughs> with Q&A, test leads, LQA, localization. You know, I thought that this game was going to be a lot longer. Like, I thought it was going to last me until, uh, I don't know, close to October. Uh, that's what I thought, but I guess not. Um, I shouldn't be that surprised because I know these games aren't that long. They're close to maybe like, I don't know, maybe couple of hours I'd say maybe 9 to 10 but it's still a pretty damn good game it's pretty fucking tough though like if you're on survival and you're playing ranger hardcore mode but as you could saw with uh, Pavel that one episode I had like so many times like I, I could not find a good place to hide like I thought that the best place to hide was probably in the back I'm being honest All right, well, thanks everybody for watching. I will catch you in the next one, whatever that may be. Bye-bye.